feel secure anywhere. No, Would Ben, be right? Ben, 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 Ben. It's gone past yeah. that, mate, because we've been here now since July talking, mate. No, no, no. So what I'm saying, if I can't get you that by the end of the week, then I just can do the hundred grand. But I, I don't want. I'm. I actually have looked up to you growing up. I don't want this situation with you. I think I can do what you want, but I, I've got to a point now where I feel like Sky is for me, and I know you don't care about that. But that I love you, and I want. Look, if I, I know you say it's gone past the stage, but if I put in a contract where you've got, like, I've got to deliver. Oh my god, this was brutal, folks. <laughs> What's good, You're family? Ishaman YB back once again. Big shout out to Madagi Clates for coming through and boosting up the coin 100%. So, oh man, I feel bad for Ben. Ben was bumbling, and I couldn't work it out. Why would Ben Chalong, yeah, who's listen, Ben Chalong, for you man who don't know, he part of a certain group, they might have the pattern. So, my whole thing is, why is Ben Chalong? Who's certified? Why would he? He was like uh, uh, bumble, uh, 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 He was bumbling along, wasn't he? I thought, why is that? I mean, not we all know now why. Yeah, Ben Shalom has heard about the Kinahan touch. That's the only explanation, folks. Billy Joe Sausages must have told Ben, listen, Ben, don't make me have to reach out to Danny. Please don't make me have to do it. You best get my coins on point, hundred percent. Now it was a hundred grand. I'm not sure. What would anything be a hundred grand about? That's what I find odd. Because Billy Joe, as much as he's no good, he ain't worth a hundred grand, if that makes sense. Billy Joe ain't going to fight for a hundred grand. So what's that about? Is it Was it some sort of case of, I'll guarantee you a fight by X date, and if not, the clause was, we'll give you a hundred grand in compensation. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. But the way that Ben Shalong, he was... Backpedaling, my man sounded bumbling, didn't he? Oh, but, but, oh, I've been, I've been done wrong, and he sounded down bad. Seriously, this should be an advertisement for down badness. Oh, oh, sky, and oh man, it's bad for Ben. It's bad for Ben. This is bad for Ben, and it shows you from Ben's point of view. Ben's learnt a valuable lesson now. You can, listen, Billy Joe. He might be a millionaire, but he's still trashy, any. Let's be real now. Billy Joe represents the absolute bottom of society. Yeah, just a low, a bottom feeder, really. let's be real now, we've been known that about Billy, he's got no real, nothing real about him is there, I wouldn't even mind you, some people, they're scummy, but they're solid, Billy ain't even solid, is he, it's not even like you can say, yeah, why be, Billy's scummy, but, when it came to it, in the ring, he had a scummy attitude, no he didn't, did he, he rolled over like a good boy, let's be real now, Billy, he gives it the whole, oh I'm edgy, I'm edgy and I'm, you know what I mean, I'm really about it like that. And you got in the ring, you got bopped. And you didn't want to know, you jumped out, hopped out the ring. And your man's Tyson Fury had to leave in embarrassment. Yeah, do you understand? So I don't know why Billy, I mean, I have to be honest, fair play to Billy. If you notice, Billy lost in 2021. It's been almost two years. And this really is the first time we've seen him come back on the circuit. People forget, until he got his cherry popped, yeah, until Canelo took his virginity and popped him. He was doing probably once a month there was some sort of controversy. He was out here bobbing around, criticising people. Dubois, go out on your back mate. You know what I mean? He was out here, he was active wasn't he? But that Canelo humbling, where he got his cherry popped on international TV. We ain't found him since and I've worked out. I thought why is this cretin crawling back into the cup for? And it was the Eubank loss. That's what did it. Yeah, Chris Eubambi Jr. getting smoked. That's what boosted Billy Joe's sausages up. He felt like, oh, yeah. Other, there's other losers like me around the place. That's what it must be. It's not a coincidence. No doubt Billy's been sitting on that recording for a minute. But he knew, wait a minute, it's not the right time to put it out. Too many people are focused on me. And then Eubambi got chipped. And that, we know for a fact that's the case. We haven't heard, no one has heard from Billy Joe Sausages for years. And then you Bambi lost and he came out and he was just boosted up. It's a bit like Conor Ben. Here's another one. Conor Ben was out here on the circuit giving it large. And then he popped and really he's fell off since then, hasn't he? Two twos. 
Ubambi loses, and now Conor Ben's giving it the big one, calling out the BBBOC. Do you know what I mean? Going on like as a real Essex nutter. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, listen. Listen, Billy, your sausages. I'm glad you found your confidence back. Yeah? I'm glad you still think you're trying to be an edgy guy. Oh, look, I've recorded. Oh, I've recorded some. I mean, who does that as well? Who records? I'm not even... Listen, I don't even like Ben Shalong. I think he's a bit... I think he's a bit of a weasel himself. But still... It's like, Billy, are you going to grow up, mate? Do you know what I'm saying? When is Billy going to grow up and say, you know what? I'm an adult. Let me not record conversations. It's all just a, yeah, it's weird. Weird ass dude. Weird ass dude. However, Ben Trelong getting punked is comical. I am intrigued to know what the circumstances are. My guess would be, and that's what the common theme has been. Ben Trelong has been out here just being way too gassed. He got the Sky contract and he's been... Bottom line, promising things he can't deliver. That's the only explanation. Now, Ben Chalong goes on a hole. I mean, he starts trying to suck Billy off. Oh, Billy, I've loved you. I love you long time. And I thought, Jesus. You know when someone says they love you long time. That's how you know it's a rap for you. Well, that's how you know it's a rap. People trying to beg, beg friend you. Yeah? If anyone ever tells you, I've loved you long time, you know they beg friending. I mean, who says that? It's 2023. I don't know. But anyway, like I was saying, Ben Chalong said, I love you a long time, and Sky, they've essentially put me out, which has put you out. So what's the, ba- what's the case here? Is it a case of, I mean, I can't work it out, because Sky, sure, I mean, Billy Joe, yes, he's not where he once was, but he's still a big, big name, isn't he? Unless Ben has offered a ridiculous amount of money to Billy. Which, by the way, I've been hearing a lot about that. Because look at Lawrence Acoli. Lawrence Acoli, Sky gassed him up. You're going to be the next AJ. He leaves Eddie Hearn. I haven't seen him guy, I haven't seen the guy since. He definitely ain't on no AJ big pay-per-view thing, is he? I don't know what he's doing. So has Ben been promising the world and delivering squat? That's what it's looking like. Let's be real now. I mean... Even if you wanted Eubank versus Billy Joe, well, Eubank just got his cherry popped by Liam Smith. B-level beefy. So even that, in in a way, in it, the, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, the battle of the finished, yeah, Billy Joe Sausages versus Chris Eubambi Jr. is for sure the battle of the century, yeah? Who is the most finished, yeah? The most finished of the century. That's what that fight's for. It's a great fight, a great billing. The world gets to find out who in the 2021s, who in the two, who in the 21st century is the most finished boxer of the century. That's what we get to find out. Extremely inquisiting. Oh, I wonder who is more finished. You've got Billy Joe Santa, Santa Claus looking ass, big round dude, and then you've got Chris Bambi Jr. with no tops. You just, he's got, he's got, it's got something for everyone, isn't it? Yeah. It's got people, listen, it's got people for the Weight Watchers, yeah? Anyone who's into Weight Watchers, you got you got the whole Billy Joe thing going on, yeah? So you get, it's, it's great. you got the Weight Watchers side. P- Billy Joe brings in the Weight Watchers dudes. you got Chris Bambi Jr. He brings in all the Amir Khan fans. Do you understand? There's something for everyone in that fight. But now, you Bambi lost... I guess you could argue it's even more intriguing now, because now Ubambi's got no chin. So can Billy Joe, who has no power, put out Ubambi? So yeah, maybe maybe I'm wrong. I was about to say, is it is the problem? Billy Joe got offered a load of money to fight Eubank. Although actually no, Eubank's not even with Sky. Liam Smith was the Sky fighter. So I don't know I don't know what this guy Ben's been doing. And to be honest, I don't know what he's been doing. To put himself in the situation where, if he can't deliver, he has to pay Billy a hundred grand. Honestly, what comes to my mind is, I think Ben shalong has been touched. I'm sorry. Because as far as I'm aware, I mean, look at, we know the sport of boxing, yeah? We know the sport of boxing. Fights fall through all the time, Yeah? managerial and promotional contracts they flop all the time it's not a big you know it's not a big hoo-ha when they fall through and as far as i'm aware i haven't heard of or it's not common practice for people to be paid 
certainly not 100 grand just because a fight fell through or just because a fight offer fell through i haven't heard of that one before have you you tell me when was the last time you've heard of a fighter being paid because a promotional contract fell through i've never heard of that what might have happened is or what what i'm hearing's happened especially when people you have to consider again ben chalong his team sky sky isn't any small organization not only that your man's ben chalong he team shekel yeah team shekel they, they don't mess about like that 100 percent. team shekel is a1 so wait a minute sky ben chalong's moving with big dogs he's got the sky big dogs he's got the shekel big dogs why is he sounding so scary for that don't make no sense does it a man in his position ben chalong has a lot of power why would he be sounding so shook for you know what I mean? why he um listen when i say he was sounding shook he was sounding shook yeah this uh, shook of the year award winner that's in my opinion i think there's a good case that ben chalong can pull it off for the shook of the year award i'm gonna be real with this one the shook of the year award winner that's what your man Ben Shalong's in running for. So the question is, why, in a man in his position, why would he be sounding so shook and almost desperate to pay Billy Joe a hundred grand? And he's not even getting anything, anything for it. You know what I mean? Oh, I'll get you the hundred grand by the end of the week. He's desperate to give Billy Joe money. It's not like, for example, yeah, fair play. Let's say Billy Joe fought last weekend. That would make sense. Billy Joe's rang the guy up and he's questioning where his pay pack is. And then Ben Chalong says, oh, Sky haven't paid me yet, but don't worry, I'll get you a hundred grand. That's what it sounds like, but we know Billy Joe hasn't fought. So what services have been rendered here? And from what I've heard from sources close to the situation, what's happened is, this hundred grand is not a contractual obligation. What's happened is, Billy Joe has been in contact with several promoters. Eddie Hearn is one of them. Yeah? However, when Ben Shalong heard that Billy Joe was testing the waters with different promoters, Ben Shalong told Billy, Billy, forget everyone else, I'm going to give you a blockbuster contract. At which point, Billy Joe cut off contact with everyone else. On the basis that Ben Chalong was going to nice him. Yeah? Nice him, give him the nice all over. Give him the, pass him the pattern. Now, a year later, where Billy has been loyal to Ben Chalong, it turns out it's all going to fall through and there's nothing there. There's nothing backing up the waffle Ben Chalong was giving. At which point, Billy Joe picks the blower up and tells Ben Chalong, listen Ben Chalong, you've wasted a year of my life. I want a hundred grand in compensation. Yeah? At that point, Ben Chalong told Billy, get stuffed. I ain't paying Nizzy. Yeah? Within the next few days, Billy Joe gets on the phone to Danny Boy and tells Danny, listen, yeah? I need, you to, I need you to bring some assets into London and go and touch Ben Chalong. Ben Chalong. Remind Ben Chalong what game he playing in right now. And I heard some certain man's pulled up on Ben Chalong's residence, pulled up at Ben Chalong's residence. And, I mean, you, your, your imagination can do the rest. Yeah, and all we need to know is, just listen to my man. Listen to my man on the phone. Oh, I loved you, Billy. I've loved you a long time, Billy. Yeah. I mean, what what has to happen in a man's life for him to be on the phone to the next man telling him how much he loved him? You know what I mean? Where are they doing that one at? Don't make no sense, does it? Unless you've been touched. Yeah? Danny boy, he sent in some next dons and unfortunately Ben Shalong has been touched. Yeah, bottom line, now I don't even like Billy. I think Billy's a cornball, but the evidence is the evidence. Ben right now is dancing for his life essentially billy just please don't please, i mean please billy just get dan to, just get danny boy to back off i'll give you the hundred grand please billy i've been done wrong too sky have done me wrong just give me another week billy please billy yeah 
We've all been there before. We've all heard them films before. Please, Billy. I just need another week to get the money together, Billy. Please, Billy. 100%. Yeah? Ben Chalong begging Billy, essentially, for his life. That's what it sounded like to me. He needs more time to get the coins together to pay for his life. Because you've messed around with Billy. Billy put the phone call in to Kinahan. And it's been a wrap for Ben Chalong ever since. Let's be real now. Call me a liar. Was or was not Ben Chalong about to cry on the phone? Why would a man be about to cry on the phone? Yeah, it doesn't make no sense, does it? Unless he'd been touched. Unless he came out of his residence one morning and two big burly dons was there to greet him. So we must pray for Ben Shalong right now. He going through it. He'd been touched. Ben Shalong has learnt a valuable lesson. Not to get involved with shady characters. That's the only explanation. Now what I will say is, Billy Joe Sausages... He can't handle his home, his own work. Yeah, he can't handle his own money. He, he, listen, Billy Joe, he ain't, he ain't got no muscle in the streets. That's what he ain't got. We've been seen that already. Everyone knows all you've got to do is bop Billy Joe on his cheek and he'll run to his corner and jack it in. Yeah, Billy Joe don't have no weight on the street. That's why he has to pick the phone up to Danny. Yeah, get that Danny call in. Because without Danny, he would not have... Ben Chalong on the phone about to cry. Yeah? Anyway, let me know your thoughts. We must, and that's another thing. We must all start praying for Ben Chalong. He need it right now. Yeah? Ben Chalong, you're in my thoughts and my prayers. you going through it 100%. No doubt about it. Smash the like button, subscribe. Lack of the bell 100%. No doubt.